सेवन सिक्स आ फोर्टी एट सॉरी सेवन सिक्स आ फोर्टी टू सेवन सिक्स आ फोर्टी टू बट सेवन सेवन आ फोर्टी नाइन दैट विल एक्सीड राइट फोर्टी एट को वो एक्सीड करके जाएगा सो दैट्स वाई आई एम ओनली टेकिंग कंप्लीट साइकिल दैट्स इट कंप्लीट साइकिल्स के बाद हम लोग क्या करेंगे ये आगे का सॉल्व करेंगे इज इट क्लियर टिल कंप्लीट साइकिल ऋतुजा कूल अब हाउ मेनी कंप्लीट साइकिल्स आर देयर सिक्स कंप्लीट साइकिल्स आर देयर ओके इन सिक्स कंप्लीट साइकिल्स हाउ मेनी डेज आर देयर सिक्स टू जा ट्वेल्व डेज आर देयर इन ट्वेल्व डेज हाउ मच वर्क विल बी डन फोर्टी टू वर्क विल बी डन व्हाट इज रिमेनिंग वर्क नाउ माया एंड ऋतुजा टेल मी फर्स्ट व्हाट इज रिमेनिंग वर्क गाइस फास्टर Six. Now to do that remaining six work, who will come on the thirteenth day? Raj will come. Yes or no? On thirteenth day, Raj will come. Raj will come, na? Maya. First day pe Raj aata hai, to fir thirteenth day pe bhi Raj hi aayega. Okay? Yeah. So now on 13th day Raj will come. Okay, उसके पास अभी काम कितना बचा है? Six इतना काम का है, but he will do only how much? Three. Yes or no? Because his efficiency is three only, ना? So he will do the three work and he will go to the home. Now how much work is left? Three is left. To do this remaining three work, who will come? Suraj will come on the 14th day. But he, will he take entire day to complete this three? No. Because of his efficiency is four, वो एक दिन में चार चेयर्स अगर बना सकता है तो उसको तीन चेयर्स बनाने के लिए पूरा दिन लगेगा क्या नहीं लगेगा He will take how much थ्री by फोर time of entire day. वो पूरा दिन नहीं लेगा He will take only थ्री by फोर time of the that फोर्टींथ day. So your work will be done in थर्टीन complete थ्री by फोर days. Get it? Everybody, okay. Do. Maya and Rutuja, is it clear? Yeah. okay to so some people are new to this okay they will find initially it will problem but yeah definitely this question is easy to okay yeah yeah try to solve this one Uh, the efficiency will be four za three za. Yes or no? This is efficiency. Total work will be seven. Okay. 
uh, if they work together for four days if they work together for four days so in four days how much work will be done 28 will be done what is remaining remaining is 60 minus 28 which is equals to 32 but what fraction of the work fraction of the work that is left fraction pucha hai so 32 divided by 60 that is the fraction of a work so 4 ones are 4 eights are 32 4 eights are 32 and 4 15 is are yes so 8 by 15 is the right answer are you guys getting this Is it easy to understand? Okay, this is also a very easy concept. Huh? And uh, if you are good at time and work, now, you will definitely find pipe and system also. Okay, you can pipe and system. Okay, so yeah, I'm just giving you some important topics, guys. Okay, today. A is thrice as good as workman as B. Okay, and therefore able to finish a job 60 days less than B. Okay, this is something. Okay, working together, they can do it in. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Just, just focus here, guys. Just focus here. Yaha pe question me thoda sa twist hai. Okay. They don't have given you time. So if there is no time, that means what? Agar unhone time nahi diya hai, to aap LCM se total work nahi define kar sakte. You can't find out efficiencies as well. But they have given you something. They have given you something. That is the efficiency of A is thrice as the efficiency of B. Yes or no, guys? Okay, try to focus here. Okay, kuch solve the nengi koshish mat karna. I'm just explaining it to you. Okay, yeah. Now just tell me whatever I'm writing, is it right or wrong? Is it correct? Okay, now tell me guys, what is the relation of, yeah, what is the relation of time and efficiency? How they are related? Are they directly proportional or inversely proportional? The time in which they are doing the work, okay. Is it directly proportional or inversely proportional? See the previous question. See the previous question. Okay, here, what is the ratio of the time, guys? Ratio of the time. 15 divided by 20. Kya tha, guys? Dekho achche se. 5 3s are 5 4s are 3 by 4. Yes or no? Yes or no? Okay. And what is the ratio of the efficiencies, guys? 4 by 3. Getting it? So they are inversely proportional. Yes or no? Dekho na, jitna zyada time lagega, utna uska efficiency will be less. Simple. Simple to understand. Yeah. So here they have given you the ratio of the efficiencies. Can you guys tell me what is the ratio of the time? Ratio of the time. Can we find out the ratio of the time? Tell me what is the ratio of the time guys? Now you guys are doing it good. The ratio of the time is mean. Time taken by A and time taken by B is 1 is to 3 in the ratio. In dono ke beach mein difference jo hai, that difference is 60 days. Yes or no? Is it that? Okay. Question mein yehi bataya hai. Yes or no? Reply fast. Times are in the ratio. Difference is 
Okay, we'll try to solve this question. P can complete in 15 days. In how many days P and Q can complete the job if Q is twice as fast as P? So twice as fast as P, it means if you take the efficiency of P is 1, then what is the efficiency of Q guys? 2, yes or no? If, if, if efficiency of P is 1 and he can complete the total work in 15 days, now tell me guys in how what is the total work wo ek din mein ek chair banata hai usko pura kaam karne ke liye 15 din lagte hai to what is the total work tell me fast reply fast <coughs> sorry <coughs> reply fast guys 15 yes or no Okay, so now, uh, okay, P and Q together complete the job. Okay, P in, in how many Q together can complete the job? P and Q together, what is the efficiency P plus Q? Ka? 3. So 15 divided by 3. In how many days? Five days. Option P is the right answer. Okay. Is it clear? Pooja, Shraddha, Rutuja, Maya, Prajwal, Pramod, Suraj. Is it clear, guys? Yeah. Because yaha pe uska time nahi diya tha. Q ka time nahi diya tha. So I will just take it as like. Iska efficiency I will assume. According to my convenience. I will assume 1 and its efficiency is 2. Okay. For this we have taken. Okay. 39 persons can repair a road in 12 days. Working 5 hours a day. In how many days? 30 persons working 6 hours a day. Complete the work. Okay, work is same here. What is the formula, guys? Which yaad hai formula? Chain rule. Yeah, chain rule. Remember this kind of questions. Itne log the, itne din ke five hours per day. Okay, if, like such kind of question if they ask you, yeah, very good, Sandeep. Guys. Don't don't forget this. Don't forget this. M1 D1 H1 M M2 D2 H2 divided by here W1 here W2. Are you guys getting this? What is M1? Number of men in the first condition. Day one D1 is the number of days, and H1 stands for number of hours. Okay, similarly, M2 number of men here, uh, no, D2 is the number of days and H2 is the number of hours in the second condition. Here, in this particular question, W1 and W2 are same because we are doing the same work. Yes or no? Okay. So, here the formula will remain M1 D1 H1 is equals to M2 D2 H2. Okay. So what is M1? 39 into D1? 12 into H1? 5. Okay, M2? 30 into D2? We don't know. So I'll keep it as X and here it is 6. So 6 1s are 6 2s are 12. Okay, now 5 1s are 5 6s are 2 1s are 2 3s are. Okay, 3 1s are 3 13s are. So your answer will be equals to x is equals to 13. Are you guys getting this? Okay. So yeah, is it, is it easy to remember this formula guys? MDH pata hai? Yeah. MDH wale uncle pata hai? Then you will like definitely use this formula. <coughs> okay. 
ओके 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 देर आर सम क्वेश्चन ट्राई टू सॉल्व इट बाई योर ओन ओके या आई विल गिव यू लाइक लिंक्स आई विल ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड यू सम लिंक्स आई वॉन्ट टू कवर दिस टॉपिक ऑल्सो बट या वट इज द टाइम नाउ या नाइनटीन सो इट इज मोस्ट दैट The sum of the two numbers is fifty-five, and HCF and LCM of these number is five and one twenty respectively. The sum of the reciprocals of these two numbers is equals to. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, just before that, just tell me what is guys LCM and HCF. I'll just give you some brief idea about LCM and HCF, and then we'll try to solve this question. What is LCM, guys? Just tell me. ओके लोवेस्ट लीस्ट कॉमन लीस्ट कॉमन फैक्टर नहीं होता फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लीस्ट कॉमन मल्टीपल लीस्ट कॉमन मल्टीपल ओके एंड इज हाईएस्ट कॉमन फैक्टर हाईएस्ट कॉमन फैक्टर ओके 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 जस्ट आई गिव यू सम प्रॉपर्टीज गाइस या ए फॉर अ नंबर इफ टू नंबर्स आर गिवन इफ द टू नंबर्स आर गिवन द एलसीएम इनटू एचसीएफ इज इक्वल्स टू द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू नंबर्स प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू नंबर्स ओके Remember this: LCM is always greater than equal to the numbers given, and the HCF is always less than or equal to the H, uh, numbers given. Yeah, हमेशा याद रखना. Okay, the third property: LCM is multiple of HCF. होना ही चाहिए. Multiple of HCF. okay if if hcf of two numbers two numbers hcf of two numbers is 1 then they are co prime then they are co primes okay so yeah write down all these properties guys yeah and list the perfect square okay 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 so just a second i see this question but yeah i'll just give you one uh, okay this topic i'll cover okay i'll just cover it afterwards okay what you will be giving okay yeah 
the sum of the reciprocals we have to find it out. We'll solve this question and we'll end it here only. I'll uh, take this topic afterward also. So don't worry about this. <clears throat> yeah, done. Uh, done with this, guys. Okay, shall I solve this question now? Yeah, okay, I'll just solve it. Just give me a second. Okay, here what they have given you the sum of the two numbers. Okay, and yeah, most of you find out some difficulty in this topic. Okay. I'll tell you guys, this topic is easy, but you have to be careful in this topic. Definitely. A plus B, they have given you 55. What is A into B? Tell me guys, faster. What is A into B? A and B are the two numbers we have. What is A into B? Faster. Abhi, abhi, aapne properties likhe hai iske. Yes or no? You have already written it. Tell me, what is A into B? Very good, Bhagyashri. Very good. So here, A, we have already seen. Yes or no? 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 So A into B is 600. We have to find out. We have to find out the product. We have to find out the sum. Done. It will be B into A. Sorry, B plus A divided by AB. So B plus A is A plus B is 55 divided by AB is 600. So your answer will be equal to sum of the reciprocals they have asked you. 11 divided by 120. Are you guys getting this? Very good, Bhageshri. So your answer is 11 divided by 120. Was it easy, guys? Ye easy tha? Yes or no? Ye addition karna ye product wala, but we should know this property. Ki baba A into B is the product of LCM and HCM. That we should know. Then only it is easy to solve. Okay. Once you know the properties now, that will be easy. Clear, guys? This second question. Which of the following is the perfect square? Which of the following is the perfect square divisible by each 21, 36, and 66? Now, how to solve this question? This we can't solve it, right? 21 is 3 into 7. 36 is 3 into 12. 66 is 3 into 22. 3 into 4. Yes or no? So first we will find out the LCM. How to take the LCM guys? Kaise lete hai LCM? First we will take what are the common factors. We will just write those common factors only once. Yes or no? Lete na LCM bachpan mein kiya tha kuch yaad hai? So yeah. B. Again this common factor is done. This also done. So now what is the remaining? This 3 is remaining. This four, 2 is remaining. This 4 is remaining. So 
ओके टू टू कॉमन है ना यहाँ पे फोर मतलब ये टू इंटू टू हो जाएगा तो एक कॉमन है तो आई राइट इट ओनली वंस अगेन दिस थ्री इज देयर एंड सेवन इंटू इलेवन ओके तो हियर यू कैन सी दिस गाइस क्या कुछ समझ आ रहा है आपको आर यू गाइस गेटिंग दिस आई हैव जस्ट टेकन द एलसीएम दैट्स इट Here till this. Now, is it a perfect square, guys? Is it a perfect square? नहीं. अभी तक तो नहीं है because this is three into three. Yeah, it is a perfect square. Two into two, perfect square. But here seven into eleven, that is seventy-seven. Okay, seventy-seven is not a perfect square. So what we have to do to make it perfect square? We have to multiply. I'll just rewrite these things. Okay, I'll just rewrite these things. So we have to multiply this number by seven and eleven because these two numbers. Now it is a perfect square. Yes or no? Yes or no? Okay. Now, now, now. What will you will do, guys? अब इसके बाद क्या करोगे? आप सब इसका प्रोडक्ट करने के लिए सबसे पहले आप मोबाइल निकालोगे एंड यू विल डू द प्रोडक्ट ऑन दिस नंबर यस और नो डोंट डू दैट आई टेल यू व्हाट टू डू इफ यू सी द ऑप्शंस प्रॉपरली गाइस इफ यू सी द ऑप्शंस प्रॉपरली द यूनिट प्लेस ऑफ ईच ऑप्शन इज डिफरेंट द यूनिट प्लेस ऑफ ईच ऑप्शन इज डिफरेंट ओके so what i'll just calculate the unit place i'll just take care of the unit place why because if i just find out what will be the unit place of this product i will get the answer 3 3 are 9 9 2 are 18 18 matlab unit place is 8 8 2 are 16 matlab unit place is 6 6 7 are 42 matlab 2 2 11 are 22 matlab 2 2 7 are 14 matlab 4 Four eleven is a forty-four. So unit place me kya ana chahiye? Four ana chahiye. So option A is the right answer. Are you guys getting this? Are you guys getting this? Okay, smart approach should be there because every time you can't solve the questions by doing lot of products and all these things. You have to be smart. Okay, you have to choose the option. आपको जो option choose करना है, आपको answer find करके वो number नहीं put करना है. Okay, so everything is given to you. Options are like if you, you check the options, yeah, the unit place is different, so I can use this technique. Otherwise, I will solve it whole question. Simple. Got it? Clear? Everybody? Okay, guys. Yeah. So that's it for today, guys. Uh, I think it is nine thirty-four. So yeah, we have to stop it here. Uh, yeah, but 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 uh, it's not done from your side. You have to solve a lot of questions, guys. And if you guys are free in the evening, you can attend that session too. Okay. Yeah, I'll try to solve some questions on the logarithm from the different website. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I have already shared you the link of. Uh, if you check your groups, uh, there is a link for logarithm question, guys. Okay, I'll try to find some more questions, some interesting questions from the logarithm as well as uh, time and work. Okay, so those who are free in the evening, they can join it. Okay, because other people don't need it. Like they people, these other people are very smart, so they don't need any kind of grooming at all. Okay, so yeah.